welcome back to my channel okay i'm excited i have an easter embellishment tutorial for you guys um we're gonna be making these lace eggs and carrots i think they came out really cute they look a little shabby um and so yeah let's get started because i don't want to make this video long um so i'm gonna be using these they're called color your own ornaments from a dollar trough okay so i got the egg ones and then also the carrot ones and they already have like a hole here that you can like string and make it an ornament or you can hang anywhere um or you can cover that hole up and you don't have to use that hole let me make sure my chat is on live chat okay so it's super simple to do this guys you guys good morning sonia you guys know that i had hauled a bunch of these trims from my friend inez and during the live i was like oh i should put this on the eggs hey tracy boo tracy i've been missing you girl you don't be answering your dms and i don't appreciate that i'm gonna stop dming you i got my chick-fil-a drink okay so i went ahead and i pre-painted these okay and i just used my little 50 cents um apple barrel paints and i use like a really light color and hey tara i like how the light color looks on these eggs i feel like this pink is a little too dark for me but for the carrots i use two tones so i use that dark pink and then this lighter one up top tracy boo you be acting funny girl don't be acting funny girl so you guys can glitter these i actually kind of want to go back and use some glitterific or something on here i think that would be really pretty i i figure you haven't been checking your um dms but check your dm i sent you a few messages so let me focus 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 so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do these up with our laces okay so you guys know we bought a bunch of trims from hobby lobby hooby looby hey cheryl hi brenda brenda you haven't been on the live in forever so yeah this is what we're gonna do guys we're gonna utilize our trims you definitely want to use some of your lace trims the lace makes it look so pretty and this is use whatever's in your stash use your diamond dots use your gems i use these from ivada ivada shop i believe is the name of her shop and these are what they look like so i know a lot of us bought a bunch of bling from her and they look like this they're gorgeous and i thought they looked perfect on here it looks very spring okay so you're going to go ahead and you're going to paint your eggs. You guys can do whatever color scheme you want. And I just have a bunch of laces here that we're going to try. Let's go ahead and do the carrot one first. I know, girl, life's been so hectic for everyone, girl. I know the feeling. Okay, so let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I have so many different trims here for my nest. Like, they're gorgeous. Okay, this one I had already pre- glue this so all i did was take this piece right and i put a little bit of hot glue on the middle and then i cut it and then i hot glued the ends okay so we'll do another one like that from the beginning but since i already glued this let's go ahead and finish and i just have a bunch of different trims from her okay i have this one here and i think i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna glue this to the top like right there i'm gonna glue it right there so I'm just going to take some hot glue and don't use a lot of hot glue. Work fast since we're not using a lot. Just like that. And be careful you don't burn yourself when you're dealing with the lace. Okay, guys. So that's just how I glue it. And then I go ahead, take my scissors and I just trim the excess. You might want to use a lighter to burn the end so it doesn't fray hi inez inez i just spoke you up i'm using your beautiful trims inez some of the night owls want to know if you have any trims left that they wanted to buy so let me know so i can let them know that you have more for sale or did i buy all your stuff <laughs> okay so i like this trim right here and guys, I know you have a ton. We all have a ton, ton, ton of laces. Hey, Beth. I know we all have a ton of laces in our stash. That's kind of a sold out. I bought them all. Don't put me out there like that. She said you bought them all. Okay, let me see what else. I have so many trims right here. 
I'm sorry, but those trims were such a good deal. You got to be quicker than that. Okay, let's see. I just have so many right here. You can just go crazy and just put, you know, a little here, a little there. Here, I'm just going to stick this one on here. It's 2022. We're not going to be thinking about stuff too much. Okay. So you see, I'm just like sporadically putting it. I'm not putting a lot. And I'm just going to press it down like so. And then I'm just going to use my scissors and clip it right on the edge. Just like that, guys. As close to the edge as you can. See how this frays? You might want to use your lighter. Okay. Just like that. And then just continue to like layer your pieces. Let me see what else I have here that I could use. I kind of want to use this one again. Guys, I have so many videos I have to do and catch up with. Let me see. I could put another piece here, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. So, again, I'm only going to put... Hey, Cheryl's. I'm just kind of, like, dotting it on. Yeah, we got a lot to look forward to in 2020 in Biden's voice. Okay, guys? Stop dwelling in the past. Look at how cute. All right, so I'm going to clip this. Little uglies. And then I'm going to clip this. I know y'all got a lot of trims in your stash, okay? There's been so many clearances on trims at Hobby Lobby over the years. I know we have not even put a dent in that stuff. So bust out all your little trims. And then you guys can also add, like I use some of these flowers on this one. You can, I don't believe you don't have trims. Cheryl's. I don't believe that. I don't believe that, Cheryl's. So you can stick the little flowers on there. You can do some little jemmies. Let's see how the jemmies look. This one might be too big. I don't like how that looks. Let me see. There's so much. You can layer another. Um, Here, let's do this. So let's do that one right there. I'm going to go for that one right there. I think that looks really cute. This Rick Rack, they actually sell this at Dollar Tree, guys. It's a little bit bigger than this one. And instead of putting the glue on that bottom piece, since it's like zigzag, I'm putting it on the actual trim. So just like that. Okay, and I'm going to glue this before I um, clip it off. The blings look really nice on here. Okay, so just like that. And then we're going to trim it off. Dollar Tree actually has some... I, I used to hate Rick Rack, girl. I'm like, I'm not going to... I bought some, like some gold Rick Rack a long, long time ago when I first started crafting. I'm like, I'm never going to use this shit. But um, Gina actually left a comment on one of my... Look how cute, guys. On one of my videos, and she said that this will look great um, on gingerbreads. And that is so true. This will look perfect on gingerbreads. Hold on, guys. Sorry, I don't want you to hear me slurping. Okay, so I kind of want to bring some bling. But as usual, nothing is where it's supposed to be. I could do some sequins. Let's do some sequins. Wait, here goes. Some jemmies. This one, these might be too big. Yeah, they're too big. What about these little hearts? But I need you guys to dig deep in your stash and see what you can find. Would a heart look cute? I don't like how that looks. 
But this is an option. You can use that. Let me get some sequins, guys. I hope I got some big sequins in here. Um, what are some other ideas that we can... What other things can we use? Got a few sequins here. Let me get some bigger sequins. Hi, Lana. I have to go in a couple of minutes dropping in to say hi. Hey, girl. I'm sorry I missed your birthday, Tara. Happy belated birthday, Tara. Okay, hold on. Let me get... What are some other ideas, guys? What else can we stick onto these to embellish them? Sequins, gems. Mm. I think I nest some of these too. Can use some of those. I'm dropping shit. Something just really hurt my toe. My foot. Oh, what about these? all kind of damn sequins okay let's see how these flower ones look is there a way to add a dangle yes you can dangle um something here if you want because there is a hole but you can also probably like do a jump ring you know clip it in there you can poke a hole hi maya why are you not in class baby chain would be cute too Wrap the gold twine from Hobby Lobby. That would be beautiful. Rayleigh, what's your what's your real name? I need to know your real name so I can remember it. I feel like I'm always saying your name wrong. Look at these little heart sequins from Pretty Mix Studio. Those might look cute. And now spoil me with these. Guys, I love sequins. It'll never be enough. Never. Nicole. I can remember Nicole. That's my sister-in-law's name. Hey, Nicole, girl. Hey, girl. Nicole had a bomb Dollar Tree haul that I was watching one day. Okay. So maybe some of those. Maybe some of these yellow ones. But as you can see, I use flowers on one. I got some little hearts in here. Do you guys ever take an old mix you made and just pick stuff out? I do that all the time. Don't judge me. Judge your mama. You too. Have a good one, Lana. So I'm just going to put a couple of Damn it. Sequence here. Okay. Damn it. These are so staticky. I kind of want to add a bow. But you can definitely do a dangle, guys. You guys can punch a little hole here. You can do so much. You can embellish these however you like. Well, since I already did one with some gems and I did one with some flowers, I want to do some with some sequins. I think that would look really cute. Let me see how this bow looks on here. That's kind of cute. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, we'll leave that bow there. Hey, girl. Yes, we're making carrots. Are you ready to go live yet, Elena? Am I going to make you nervous if I announce it? Guys, Elena's going to go live on TikTok. You guys got to follow her account. She has a bomb account. So I'm just going to stick these little sequins on here. Look at how pretty. I love how the bow looks. So I'm going to do that. Let's do that. I'm just doing three dots of hot glue. You guys can use Fabri-Tac. I didn't have any. 
I need to buy me a bottle of it. I just hate how Fabri-Tex oozes out. But I'm just sticking some sequins on here. And you could, hi Alvina, you can layer your sequins. I think that would look really pretty if you layered them. Let me see, do I have some tiny ones? I know that I do. Hmm. See, I always do too much. So this is a great way for you guys to use your stash, okay? Maybe I can stick that little bead in there. I don't want to. Yeah, these are the wood ornaments. Let me grab them. To show you guys again. So guys, I just took these. The ornaments from Dollar Tree. Okay, they're flat and they already have the hole. They're the bigger ones, not the little tiny ones that we get. And I just painted it with my little 50 cent. That looks so cute, guys. I really like that. Maybe I could add like the blue, the, the mint somewhere else. But for now, we're going to call this one done. You can definitely like do a little dangle here. That would be really pretty. Or you can even hang it from your bow, do a little charm. So let's go ahead and do one of these. So we're just using our trims, okay, guys? That's what I really want you guys to um, use some of your trims. Mm. I have a, I made a wand with a wood bunny today. Oh, that looks so, that's going to sound cute, girl. I got to see it. Maybe this. Does this look too quinceanera? I think it's so cute. It might be a little kitchen yet. I don't know. I don't know yet. Or we can do this. So I really like this um, lighter pink on the egg. So kind of play with it. A little kitchen yet -ish. Play with it. Layer. Maybe a little lower. This might look cute. A little lower. But just play with your trims, guys. We got so much in our stash that we can use. <laughs> Does it look so cute, Tiniera? <laughs> it looks like a skirt. Is it too much, Ines? Tell me. I kind of like this, like right here. But then it's like, what are we going to put up here and here? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go with this. Because like I said, it's 2022, okay? Like, we're not going to be dwelling in the past. You know what I'm saying? Don't think about it. Just do it. Just stick it down. Don't dwell on your projects. There we go. Oh, my God. I love lace so much. Like, lace is lice. Life. Lice. Put some lashes on it. Oh, that'd be cute, Beth, if we make a little face. Is that what you're saying? You want to make an egg with some lashes and her little skirt. So cut it really good. And you see how like some pieces will poke out. Then go back in with your glue. Don't use a lot of glue, guys, because it really just takes a tiny bit. All right, let me glue this down. See, this didn't stick. You got to be quick with it. You gotta have ninja fingers. She want me to make a doodle bug egg. Y'all know I can't stand no doodle bug. You guys know I'm not a doodle bug girl. Look at how pretty. Hi, Eileen. And then we'll layer this one. We're making some eggs, girl. We're using our laces, our trims. That looks so cute. Stop laughing at me, Beth. So a little bit of glue here and there. I got to hurry up and get off. Elena, are you ready to go live or what? Tell me, girl. You better tell me, girl. Don't be scared, girl. All right, let me see. You can use your lighter to like whatever that's called when you light the ends so they don't fray. 
Don't light your whole egg on fire. This video is not intended for anyone below the age of 18. Okay? Don't be lighting up laces. Yeah, I definitely need to um do that on these. Okay. So just go back with your glue and make sure that it's on there good, okay? There we go. Weren't those donuts cute, Tara? So there goes. Now, let's see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Here, let's use these blings that I bought for Christmas and never used. Let's see how these look. I'm always buying shit with the intention to use it. Would that look too kitchenera-ish? Hey, Veronica. It's that big one that's throwing me off. Like that big one in the middle. How do you think that would look, guys? Hmm. We're going for it. It's 2022, okay? We ain't dwelling in the past. If you don't like it, don't do it on yours. Just have mine looking quinceanera, okay? Then I'm going to tear these off because we don't need those. That one's bothering me. Hi, Lisa. So pleased to hop on and see you live. Would you having a rough time right now in your lives? Oh, I'm sorry, baby. We're going to be praying for you. It's going to be all right, girl. Okay, we'll put this one down here. Guys, say a prayer for my friend Lisa. Okay. That'll go there. Okay, and then I'm going to stick a big-ass bow in the middle because that's what I do. Hold on, let me get a bow, some more bows. Because I'm not going to tell you how much I spent on Hobby Lobby today, but I bought some more bows. Little Miss Ava, I've been leaving my craft room door open sometimes. I forget. And she's been coming in my room, stealing my stuff. Hmm. So let's do the blue again. So we'll stick this like right here, I guess. What do you guys think? I don't know about the little blings, but we're going to leave it here for the purposes of this video. Hi, Papel. Welcome. Look at how pretty. A bow just makes everything look good. So you guys can um, string some string on here. And really, I could have stuck a little bow right here. Um, like I said, you can glitter these. So I'll probably glitter this one. But this is how the egg looks. So I really want to encourage you guys to use your stash. <laughs> so let's do one more and then I'm out of here. I kind of want to add some sequins to this one. Let's add some sequins. Being that she's quinceanera already. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to stick those sequins on there. I just put some... Hot glue, guys. A little dots of hot glue. Don't be asleep on your sequins. Hi, Mary. Thank you. I'm missing the chat, guys. Look at how pretty. So just go crazy and layer your sequins up. Like, I will put some little star sequins in the middle. All right, one more. Let's do one more and I'm out of here, okay? Because I just wanted to jump on here real quick to give you guys some inspiration. Oh, let's see. What else? 
all these beautiful trims. Let me see. I like to use a big one in the middle. So let's go ahead and use this one. Thank you, Mama. We'll use this one. And like I said, just some dots. This dries really quick because we're only using a little bit. So stick it on quickly like that. I've been missing you guys too. I'm sorry. I did do a couple of lives the other day. I had to edit one of them. So hopefully it'll be up today and I will be going live probably again today or tomorrow. Oh, that's a good idea to go diagonal, Inez. But I really want to encourage you guys to make these, okay? So I would love to see your interpretation of this using what you guys have in your stash. I love the white one. These beautiful trims are from my friend Inez. I bought them in her D-stash. And when I was doing a live, I was like, ooh. I was showing both the eggs and these. And I'm like, these would look so good together. So like I said, I know y'all got a lot of trims in your stash. Go dust the dust off of them. And use those damn trims, guys. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty just like that. All right. So let's add. I had another piece here that was really ornate. Here, fell down. You can go with bright, pretty Easter colors. I have like this frilly one that we can stick something else in the middle, layer something else in the middle there. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna do that. Just go for it, guys. Don't think about it too much. They give you eight in a pack at Dollar Tree. So just go ham, okay? Buy you a couple packs of these. I actually went yesterday to Dollar Tree and I bought some more. Somebody bought all her damn trims. It wasn't me. Somebody else bought all that shit. Took all her trims. It was Samantha. Look at how cute. Then I'm going to trim. And if you don't like how something's laying... Like, for example, this one has the, you know, these pleats. You can glue it down on spots that are sticking up. Like right here, I can stick a little bit of glue here and here. But I don't mind that. Okay, just like that. Oh, yes, Cabochon will look so cute. I have all my Easter stuff in the car in the trunk. I didn't grab it. And I'm too lazy to put some clothes on right now. But like I said, I just wanted to jump on here and to um, inspire you guys to make some of your own. Cabochons will look so bomb on here. Let's see how this looks. Just like that. We're going for it, okay? Don't think about it. Just do it. I told you guys the bows make everything... Just so cute. Okay. So this one can be a more, um, you know, plain one. More simple. I don't want to say plain. Because we're not basic biatches over here. Where's my other trim? I just pulled it up. Here it goes. So you can leave it really basic like that. That's a really pretty trim, but I don't know if I want to add that. Here, let me cut it and see. I can just show you guys what it looks like. So you could do these two, right? Should we go for it, guys? Do you like that? This is the wedding girdle one. <laughs> you can do it like this. So look, yay. Or nay. I kind of like it plain like this. It does look like a garter kind of. I really like this trim though. So do you guys like it with the extra here or no? 
I kind of like it like this. What do you guys think? No? I think no too. We'll leave it like this. And then you could put some pretty trim here and hang it. Do I have another one? I think that's the last one, guys. I got one more. Let's do one more because this is fun. All right. With this one, where's those pieces I just cut? Okay, Cheryl said no. We're not going to do it because Cheryl said no. Okay. I think not either, guys. We can do this one. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this. You ready for another paint party, Eileen? You miss me? Maybe I'll set one up for um, next week. Okay, so we'll do that one and then we'll cut this. This trim is so pretty with the like coral. I'm gonna see you guys too. Oh my God, I clipped my wood. Don't clip your wood guys. Don't look at the chat while you're trying to cut. Okay, let me glue this on just a little bit. Like that. Okay. But again, I want to see what you guys got in your stash. Because I'm going to be like, oh, girl, where you get that bling from? Okay, I'm going to put this directly on the trim. And then I'm going to lay it down. And I'm going to kind of lay it down to curve. Because we all like a nice curve. Okay, I'm going to trim my edges and I'm going to make sure that I glue those down well. Okay. Let me make sure I glue this down. I'm obsessed with the Hobby Lobby bowls as of late. They're just the perfect bows. I love them. All right, where's the other piece that I cut? Sandra, what'd you do with my other piece? Where are you at, Sandra? Um, I don't know where I threw it, guys. Jeez. I have to find it because it doesn't look nice on the bottom. I'll just cut another one. Just a little tiny piece. Hi, Nadine. I don't know where Sandra is. Sandra just be MIA on my lives. She only pops up now and again. Sandra. The bowls are in a sticker section. Yes. That's where you find those bowls. Only buy them when they're half off because they add up their $4. So when they're half off, they're two dollars. I'll show you the pack. So you see how cute guys? These are what they look like best. In the bow sec in the sticker section. Okay? Oh, the regular price, three dollars. No, see, look, I got one that was. That's an old pack. They're $3.99. They come in different colors, Beth. You got to look. They're usually like at the very top. And then I'm just going to stick my little bow on top, guys. Just right there. Because I think that's cute. Yes, this week they're half off. I just bought some today. Paper Studio is half off this week, guys. Easter is 40%. Spring is 40%. Look at how cute. Um, can I use one of Eve's stickers? Let's see. Because I love the way this looks. Is this so big? It's a little quinceanera-ish. It's a no for me. But they look bomb on this one. Look. Look at how pretty. Look at how pretty. 
All right, so that's it for this live, guys. And don't forget, you can do like a beaded uh, dangle here. You can do whatever with these. Be creative. I just wanted to jump on really quickly and give you guys some inspiration. And we made this one. So I would do a fancy little like tie here. Then we got this one with the blings and the little sequins. This one with the flowers. You can use your flowers on these. This one needs a bow, right? This one needs a bow. I'm going to do a white bow on that one. Thank you, guys. Okay. So they have these little bowls at Hobby Lobby and the mint, the pink, the white, the black. I don't think I like the white. We're going to go with the mint. So you guys can do, you know, bright Easter colors. Yeah, I like the mint. I think the mint is cute because it kind of gives that green that, you know, like a carrot would need or whatever. I don't know. Pink and mint look good, great together. Okay, and then this one. So that one got sequins and all different kinds of trims. I tied um, this on here. So you can definitely put a dangle, like you can hang it right here. You can poke another hole here and have something hanging here. If you have a bow here, you can hang a little charm here. But I just wanted to jump on really quickly, guys, and do this live with you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up this video if you like this, if you want to see some more um, Easter embellishment tutorials. And I'll do some more for you guys, all right? So I'll catch you guys later. Hopefully, I'll be alive again tonight or tomorrow, all right? I love you guys and have a great day. Bye.